Yo, the Saints just got eliminated from the playoffs in the wild card round. First off, the Vikings. Same thing for the Titans. First, like, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't expect the Titans to win. I didn't expect the Vikings to win. So, just like I gave props to the Titans, props to the Vikings, because major underdog going into the Saints' home, into the the Superdome that everybody, you know, always has, you know, it vaunted as this this you know great unbeatable place and all that. They went in there and they got the win, and they got the win in a really good back and forth game. They had the lead for most of the game, uh, you know, in the second half mostly. The Saints tried to come back. Vikings took it back and they closed it out. Kirk Cousins finally won the big game, I guess you could say. That's been his, like, major criticism for the past three, four years. He can't win the big game. And he did it this time, although I will say he had a lot of help from the running game of the Vikings, especially Dalvin Cook. Now, Cook, he hasn't, he did not break 100 yards this game. But when he was on the field, almost every other run seemed unstoppable. Like the Saints defense couldn't uh, couldn't exactly stuff the run. And speaking of the Saints defense, in my opinion, they lost this game. Like I think this was the Vikings defense. Don't get me wrong, the Vikings defense played their mind out. They played like how they did in 2017 when they were record setting. But it was the Saints game to lose, to be honest with you. And low key, low key, and I might get a lot of backlash for this because the Saints as a franchise is one of the most beloved franchises in the NFL, but I don't like them. And I never liked them. And this is not like some type of recent thing, you know, this goes ways back, way back to when Adrian Peterson was on the team. I was always a big AP fan because he was one of the best players in the NFL. You know, in his prime, he was probably the best player in the NFL. You know, back to when it was AP versus the Vikings in the NFC Championship game and all that. I just didn't like the Saints. And now more so in recent years, personally, I think their fan base is kind of whiny. They always find some type of way to blame the loss on somebody else. I guarantee you they're going to find a way to put this blame on the refs or some type of obscure call in the game that didn't matter in the end because they had chances to win this thing. You know, the fumble recovery, uh, which got turned over, as I'm sure is going to be one of those things they point to, but Cook's knee was down. There was a couple of big plays that weren't called on the Saints that should have been called, but the refs let it slide, for example. On one of Cook's rushing touchdowns, uh, there was a helmet-to-helmet -helmet contact from some Saints linebacker that didn't call it. And that's because anytime the ref seems to, you know, just put any flag on the Saints, their fans, and the organization itself, you know what I'm saying, Sean Payton, the coaching staff, all of these, they, they, it's like they throw a little hissy fit. So I guarantee you guys, even if they won this game, they would have found some type of some type of play in the game to, you know, say, oh, the refs don't like us, the NFL hates us, they're just trying to see us fail. This time, all right, while I admit they're like obviously last year with the Rams, yes, that was a blatant call. Um, yes, that should have been called and the Saints should have won that game. But they did get, juries did get the ball back. You know what I'm saying? There's, But this time, there's nothing that I can think of that they could point to. You know what I mean? So I'm glad to see the Vikings win because it was a clean win. It was a good, hard-fought battle and a clean win. And... With all that said, if we're being honest with each other, the best team in the playoffs just got knocked out. The Saints were by far the best team in the playoffs. Now, they calmed down in the second half of the season very similarly to what they did last year. Last year, they started off hot, then they lost to the Cowboys, and things sort of like their fire just sort of got snuffed out. They they, they sort of started running into the playoffs. They sort of took a light jog into the playoffs. Something very similar happened this year. In my opinion, since their loss to the Falcons, they haven't been the same team. Uh, just like It's like very... Similar to what happened last year in the second half of the season. They were nowhere near as good as they were in the first half of the season And um, I do have to say I feel sorry for Drew Brees I don't know if this is his last year much like it might be Brady's last year He might come back next year the Saints window. It is closing Their Super Bowl window is closing because you know these players are getting older contracts are coming up all of those things maybe they come back next year and they try to make another run, but for a team like them year after year uh, loss after loss I guess you could say heartbreak after heartbreak. It's hard for a team to come back and try to do it again. It was hard enough for them to come back. This is their third year in a row now to do this. Except this time it was a clean loss. Two years ago when they lost to the Vikings in the divisional round, it was the Minnesota Miracle. It was called a miracle for a reason. Last year, it was a terrible no call. This year, it was just a good game where they uh, a team outplayed them. The Vikings are not a better team. They just happen to play better football today. Now the best team in the playoffs is the Ravens and the AFC. And... They were my Super Bowl pick before this, and they still are. I, I think the Ravens are very much going to win the Super Bowl this year. 
Uh, once again to the Vikings, congrats and to Vikings fans because much uh, like how the Saints fans always say they have bad luck, the Vikings are a team with really bad luck as well. I hope they do good, although I don't know if they if they can get past the NFC Championship game. That's what I got for you all today. Let me know what you all think. Another quick short reaction video. Uh, like I said, I might get some heat from Saints fans, but if there's anybody out there that shares the same sentiment, please put it in the comments. And do you guys agree with me that the best team in the playoffs was just eliminated? I'm out. You're... Alright guys, thanks for watching. Put your comments down below. Make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. Until next time, I'm out. You're...